Hello. Welcome to the Kevin Stoda channel. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about uh, the environment a little bit more. And we're going to talk about um, a hit list. Um, the Sierra Club has sent out a hit list of 10 um, congressmen and that we, senators that we want to get rid of in the United States to protect the environment from climate change deniers and uh, um, those people blocking uh, a reform in our economy that would make this possible. All right, I'm gonna uh, read these and I'll first say the names of the top 10 and I'll explain to you why. Here's the title, 10 Who Must Lose. 10 Who Must Lose, okay? These fossil fools, climate deniers and industry high acts must be removed from office. Okay, first, Senator Mitch McConnell, U.S. Senator from Kentucky. Need I say more, but I will. McConnell clearly doesn't take the climate crisis seriously, calling the Green New Deal silly and nonsense. With McConnell running the Senate, passing key pieces of environmental legislation is nearly impossible and has been for a long time. A stack of House-passed environment, public lands, and climate bills are gathering dust in his desk as he does the president's bidding, confirming a vast number of anti-environmental nominees to judicial and government uh, positions where they can continue to work on behalf of fossil fuel companies. Okay, get rid of this guy. Next one. Uh, that means go out and find some way to support uh, their campaigns. They're surely sending you emails already. Um, Senator Martha McSally, a uh, U.S. Senator from Arizona. Martha McSally is a climate denier who says there is no connection between fossil fuel emissions and global warming. Even worse, she wants the government to sit on its hands when it comes to protecting the environment as a whole. Not only does she not support government funding for the development of clean energy, but she also doesn't support reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The fossil fuel industry has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to ensure that she votes for their agenda. And they're probably going to spend a lot more in the weeks ahead. Okay. Next one is Senator Cory Gardner, U.S. Senator from Colorado. With a voting record like Cory Gardner's, it's pretty easy to see why we must defeat this anti-environmentalist candidate. Gardner has voted for border wall funding and against protecting the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and is currently blocking two Colorado public lands bills that have passed the House. As a member of the Energy and Natural Resource Committee, he has been at the forefront of halting policies to help our planet for a long time. I believe the climate is changing, but I disagree to the extent that it's been in the news that man is changing. This man needs to change or the country needs to change? Let's change. Okay. Next one is Senator Tom Tillis, a U.S. Senator from North Carolina. Tom Tillis doesn't believe in taking the actions necessary to combat the climate uh, crisis. He urges Trump to pull out of the tri Paris Climate Accord, which has happened. Tillis has been a guaranteed vote in confirming Trump's anti-environmental cabinet nominees and judges. Tillis was happy to vote for lifetime appointments for anti-environmental judges, knowing these nominees oppose protection for our public lands, pollution safeguards for our air and water, and the EPA's clean power plan. Enough said, I'll tell you more. The Green New Deal is an absurdly expensive and unserious proposal, and the underlying problem is that it seeks to give the federal government more control over the American people, attempting to dictate the kind of houses you live in, the kind of car you you drive the type of job you have in the way you have your life. I, isn't that what the oil company's been doing and the car manufacturers for decades? Hmm, what an idiot. Anyway, that's Tom Tillness of North Carolina. Uh, get rid of him. Uh, so far we have get rid of Mitch McConnell, Senator Martha McSally, Senator Cory Gardner, and Senator Tom Tillis. Uh, now we'll go on to representatives that need to be kicked out. Representative David Schweikert of Arizona. Poor Arizona. Schweikert has a lifetime environmental score of 4% and is a climate change denier. As a previous leader for the Environmental Subcommittee on Science, Space, and Technology, his main preoccupation was rolling back environmental regulations and protections. He says, I think it's incredibly arrogant, you know, for Al Gore of the world 
to stand up and say the world's coming to an end. I hope this end is near. That was uh, Representative uh, David Schreiker. Uh, what well, we have more is Representative Don Bacon of Nebraska, not very far from us in Kansas City here. Don Bacon has repeatedly denied climate change. He's a big fan of drilling anywhere. Uh, big oil and gas can get a profit, including the Arctic. Bristol Bay, Chaco Canyon, and Grand Canyon. Oh, I've been to Chaco Canyon. It's pretty. In addition, he voted to block clean energy and pro-environment funding. It's clear he's not interested in protecting our environment and our communities. And he says things like this on Twitter. In regards to climate change, there is no doubt temperatures are changing. We need to further study how much humans are responsible as opposed to natural causes and from there take measures to protect our earth for future generations. Yeah, let's act in the uh, third millennium, please. Um, we've got Representative Ross Spano of Florida's 15th district. Ross Spano flat out denies climate change, dismisses the scientific consensus and discuss, discounts the need for action on the climate crisis. Get this, 95% of the scientists in the world believe there is climate change going on. And they don't even believe it, they've read the research or done the research. Spano has voted against protections for marine and mammals and against banning offshore drilling in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Being from a state vulnerable to floods and extreme weather, his actions are extremely irresponsible. When asked by reporters, he says, uh, I do not, I do not. I don't think there's sufficient evidence to show that there's any man-made activity causing climate change, right? Uh, next, we have Representative Mike Bost, Illinois' 12th district. Mike Bost has a lifetime environmental score of 3%. Whoa, that's bad. Whether it's gutting clean energy funding or blocking gray wolf protection, his record shows that he's no friend to the environment. When asked if he believed in man-made climate change, uh, Representative Mike Boss told a radio host, I don't. Hmm. That's a lot of uh, adults who never studied anything, think too. Um, they just get their Fox News information. Don't let your friends watch Fox News and don't let them uh, be dependent on it. All right, next one. Representative Devin Nunes, uh, California's 22nd district. He should have been kicked out last time. Devin Nunes has a lifetime environmental score of 3% too. While his home state of California faces devastating wildfires and extreme weather made worse by climate crisis, Nunes doesn't think it's worth talking about or taking action about. He continues to be a roadblock, denying his state the protections needed to ensure clear, clean air and water for all. I can't believe it. Let's change that uh, state of California. Make sure people like this are not sent to Washington, anywhere. Uh, finally, we've got number 10, Representative John Carter. He's Texas' uh, 31st district. John Carter displays his disbelief for climate change right on his official website where he calls climate change a chicken little scheme and labels environmental advocates as warmers who just want to control things. I bet he doesn't think the COVID-19 uh, virus exists either, right? His record shows he has no problem with allowing toxic waste and dangerous pollution to foul our air and water. No problem at all. He says, I pledge to the taxpayers of my state and to the American people that I will oppose any legislation related to climate change that includes a net increase in government revenue. And that appears to be any other environmental point too. Okay, that was uh, the 10 who must go or the 10 who must lose from uh, the Sierra Club, which I agree with. And I will list their names again, so you be sure not to vote for these guys. Let's go by state. Kentucky's um, Mitch McConnell must be kicked out. Everybody got that? Senator Marthy McSally, a U.S. Senator from Arizona, must be gone. Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado, bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, Senator Tom Tillis of North Carolina, out. And now we'll go to representatives, David Schreikert of Arizona. No way, we get him gone. Uh, Representative Don Bacon of Nebraska, we don't need him. 
Don't need people like that in Washington. Um, Representative Ross Spano of Florida, out. Uh, and Representative Mike Boss of Illinois, definitely down. Representative Devin Nunes of California, doesn't even belong in California, I don't think. Um, and then we have Representative John Carter, Texas 31st District. Goodbye, John Carter. All right, let's see if we can get a clean sweep again. Uh, get involved and know who the 10 are who must lose and get rid of them, okay? I'll tell you about 10 who must win in the coming election next. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, get to me, talk to me, or look it up on Sierra Club or your favorite environmental organization because you should be out there supporting them this 2020. Um, we have children who are going to grow up in some of the worst climate change that's been seen on the planet for thousands to hundreds of thousands of years. Okay, thank you for watching the Storage Channel and take care.